In this lesson, we will discuss the fourth technique for executing tasks using the normal threads API. As the fourth technique is similar to the third one, I have copied third technique.java into fourth technique.java. As before, the first thing that we need to do is to change the name of third task class to fourth task. Now we come to the meaty part. Firstly, we are going to remove this line from the fourth tasks constructor that creates and starts a thread. So now the thread is not going to be instantiated and started from the th tasks constructor. Instead, we are going to do everything related to the thread class in the main method. That is, we are going to create instances of thread class, provide them the task objects and then start the threads from the main method itself. And by the way, we can also capture the thread reference if we want, as we have full access to the thread objects in the main method now. After capturing the thread reference, we have called the start method on that reference to start the second thread. This class is ready to run now. Once again, we have similar output as our previous three lessons because the core logic of the task is exactly the same. So, the only difference between the third technique and the fourth technique here is that instead of creating the thread object in tasks constructor, we are creating it in the main method outside of the task. This has also allowed us to capture a reference to that thread object, thereby enabling us to manipulate the thread's behavior in the future if required. The current technique is the most used technique for creating and running threads because of two reasons. Firstly, here, the task definition is entirely isolated from the thread-related code. So, such tasks are also amenable to be executed by the executors in addition to normal threads. We will see how to do this in the later lessons. The second reason is that this technique allows for a greater control on when to just create the threads and when to actually run them, like we did with the second thread here. Most of the tasks in the remaining lessons in this course use this technique only for demonstrating the concepts. And that's it for this lesson. This was a small one. See you in the next one now.